But yes, he probably would. Did you end up coaching anyone for that price? I have not. Uh, game, uh, things, I have to do things. See, this is the type of amazing coaching you would get with me. Um, what do we have? Chinese against Franks. Not Pog. Why did I do Loom? I mean, it's Arena, I don't need Loom. Just wasted 50 gold. No reason at all. Also, Chinese are pretty shit on Arena. <laughs> Funnily enough. Considering how good they are nor otherwise, they're pretty bad on Arena. Hmm, how do I want to play this? I could do Camel Monk to compete for Relics. That's just so meta. I'm not sure if I want to play meta. Considering arena meta as well, arena meta is stable opening. I don't think Siege Tower is an option anymore. People will always have two, three nights in time to deal with it. Power rushing. It's kind of bad. Yeah, Siege Tower doesn't work on arena because the meta. It used to work when people were booming, only booming, but people don't boom anymore. Or only boom rather. Correction. Topla owes me more than 500 to put in, I'll tell you that. Top tier arena sieves at the moment. Check out my top arena sieves video. I made a video called Top 5 Arena Sieves in Age of Empires 2. That's where you want to go. Where are my boars? Okay. It's outdated. No, it's not. I think. No, it shouldn't be outdated. It should be fine still. Oh, yeah, true. It's not with Poles and Bohemians. Uh, Bohemians, sorry. Um. I think Bohemians could potentially make it into top five because of Hoofnies and everything, but Poles no chance. Actually, maybe Poles could as well. Hmm. Uh, Sicilians, eh. You know what? Funny thing with Sicilians is that they are actually really good against like Archistiv, like Britons, for example. Or Malay could be really hard to beat Sicilians with at the moment. Sicilians are, are in a, such a weird spot right now. That I, I don't really know how I rate them myself. Steve Louise, man. Mistakes, it's called, it's like, you know, you know Bob Ross, right? When he draws a painting, paints a painting, paints, draws a painting. I'm housed. Um, it's happy little accidents, right? Just like me getting housed right now. It's like, ah, oh, shit. But you know what? It's part of the journey. It's part of the experience, right? It's gotta embrace it. I mean, the weakness of Sicilians is that they don't have bomber cannon in arena. But those sergeants are so tanky against range units at the moment. That it's quite redonkulous. Why how do you get to be so muscular? Uh, you know. Heart genes. Heart hard work. Uh, where was this logic from when you got Loom? Uh, it was panic. I panicked at the opening. I was Chinese. I panicked. It happens, okay? Don't judge. 
I only have 7 8 strategy anyway, so don't you expect too much of me. Still don't know what I want to do really. That that forward goal is essentially brutal. I think I'm gonna I need to play prolonged cast lage. Because early imp is where you're exposed to Franks if they get like really good map control on you. Probably do something a bit weird. I just realized I need more builds than what I have. Sicilian Cavalier. Um, the thing is though, Cavalier is a heavy investment. It's a good unit naturally, but it's also a unit that is easily countered. Effectively. Easily, effectively countered. So there are some issues with Cavalier. Go full chicken all. Issue. So yeah. Issue is that he can just go full paladin then. And onagers potentially. Bombard cannons, you know. Chukuru is a good unit long term for me, but then I'm the relying on castles. And I don't want to be relying on castles. My long term composition will probably be like Halbier Cavalcher, honestly. What is what from yellow to green? I did not. This is a forced switch. Due to, due to um, the game not giving me yellow. This one not on purpose. What? Mm. Should have maybe gone market. Why not Chinese for the and Red Bull? I did draft Chinese once, I think, during Red Bull. They were very good save on, on Red Bull still, or Empire Wars. But Lithuanians don't have too much going for them. Why are you seeing side gold, not main one? Because this one is so exposed, and I'll probably drop a TC there. Uh, anyway. So I'll, I'll save that a little bit for later. Cannibalist man, thank you. Are you hiding scout to not show upgrades? No, his his scout has more HP uh, than me. So if I'm out, I still lose a fight. He did a very late late uptime though. And I'm wondering what clownery is doing here. He might even be doing like. Castle drop, pikeman, siege, castle drop, something weird, wacky. I'm not gonna overcommit here. Where's his base? I guess we're opposite this direction. That's two scouts, then we have another one. We'll also do light cav. Mm. 
Relic spawn is definitely favorable for him. That's gonna be hard to compete for. He already did like an upgrade as well. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get a kill. That's sick, val crazy value for me. Then not complain about that. One relic is missing. Actually lives. What? The conversion carried through? Cheater! Um, at the moment, you should have monks out, right? Okay, what? They all went inside, or what? Always number one, Mr. V. I'm confused as to how. Where he's keeping his monks. Oh, he just picked up the last relic. I don't think we can get it. But I'm still happy with two relics in the end. Relic positions were very bad for me. I don't think it's possible to reach that late. One on camels? Because uh, camels get converted by monks easily. How's your wrist there? I will I will add a fourth town, so I'm just going to explain my, my thought process right now. My thought process is that Franks are really scary with a faster Imperial Age and um, castle drops and such. So my way to try and deal with that now is going to be dropping a fourth town center, first of all. And I'm going to go... Cav archers in the castle age to keep map control, and then hopefully that will be beneficial for me long term. Because I don't want castles to come up here and here, and then tre him faster up and trebuchets and things like that. That's like the the worst nightmare for playing against Franks. Seven out of ten strategy, potentially. Seven out of ten explanation. You guys are. Rule. Okay, I, mean, I could fight this, right? Why am I not fighting? Sixty-one villagers. I think just about now is the right time for me to start adding ranges. Oh, 
Okay, that was a disaster and a half. We lost, what, four monks? The issue is now he has map control again, right? So this is the point where I have to actually reinvest into scout and upgrades for the scouts as well. Because now he can... Now he has the map control he wants. What's the HP on these guys? Almost four. I guess we do that. The issue I have now is that he will come forward and drop a castle on me. Very soon. We are in a very awkward spot right now. But there's also the chance that he overcommits with forward castle and it backfires. That's kind of what we are hoping for. Thousand gold rebel money. Yeah, I was supposed to have. S yeah, that's the this PC there. It makes that a bit awkward. And what you can hope for is that he simply. Oh, he's doing. More passive one for now. Um, has he clicked up? He has armor and plus one. Seven out of ten house control. Hey, I'm not. I wasn't housed that long. You going skirms? Yeah, now that's confusing. Skirms make zero sense here at all. Why is he committing? What? I find that one very strange. Okay, it is Cavalier. I think what I'm, what I was going for, I was, I thought he would be more aggressive, initially. So, like with the castle drop and castle age map control, she hasn't been yet. Um, so I'm kind of happy with the circumstances. He's playing. Uh, Playing different to other arena clowns. This uh, Civ. Not that I'm complaining. But I'm besides missing bomber cannons. I am in a comfortable spot. Herbal medicine makes a lot of sense. Good shout. Castle will have good timing.
Okay, he was moving out. I'm wondering if he's going Paladin or he's switching to Skirms here. I don't really know what he's going for. <gasps> Get a castle there. Original Arena Clown. Is there an original? Who deserves to be called the original? You can camp there. Oh god, that one is overpopulated. To say the least. I feel like the early trades have just gone so well for us. All things considered. Protection for this treb. Heal weak couch. I don't have time for it right now. I need army to protect my. I need to be able to protect my stuff. Like, I'm guessing he's doing paladin. Yeah. It's kind of the only thing that made sense. We're gonna lose this, which is fine. Heavy couch, then, then we're good. Heavy couch, then we're Gucci. Seems to me like it's full paladin for him right now. Which means that he's probably going for like full power play, overwhelming me with like one massive push. We gotta be careful. I don't think Camel makes sense because then he can just. It's big investment in gold, and um, it's awkward for me to, uh, like, how to say. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Yeah, he's going for the power play. I'll just have to survive his gold. Or initially, at least. Castle went down, so that's fine. I think, I think, yeah. Essentially, he's going for the overwhelm. Oh, uh, the overwhelming strategy, which is like, paladin is like the best unit in the game when you have gold and you can afford to build paladin. So that's what he's trying to do here, right? But. The second he cannot build Paladin anymore, the it's like now or never kind of thing for him. Either he breaks me with the investments he's doing now, or he will lose cost effectively long term. And that is scary. We still have a healthy amount of cavalry there. I kind of wish I had more of those helps on this side. Castle will go down, but we can remake it. They are a huge investment for sure. Yeah, I'm taking good trades though. Don't think he's getting the trades he needs.
Oust. We only have 100 villages as well, which is... For the composition I have, it's actually good. It helps me deal with his big paladin push as well. So funnily enough, me not having as many villagers is actually good for me. Still going full paladin. I should use the market a bit. He doesn't get that as well. Now I want to heal my my couches. So now we wait. I know I'm housed. Now we wait for him to build up the paladin masses again to the point where he feels like he wants to fight again. I don't really have a say in how what happens from here on. I just have to wait for him to decide that he wants to fight again. That's pretty much what the situation is. And it looks like he has decided that he wants to fight again now. But that should be okay. That is a nice position. Actually, I'm losing all of those. Might be time to get out of there. Just trying to make it happen. Franks! Okay, now I'm really motivated to win. Now that Debbie is here. So she can watch Franks loose. Let's remake some villages. Like, we have cleaned up his paladin mass again. So... Question is, can he afford to make this army one more time? No, he cannot. Oh yeah. That's the scary part about Franks, right? If they get an overwhelming push, and then you cannot... And then he breaks you to the point where you cannot reinforce, that's when you die against Franks. But we were even even this game. It was it got a little. It became a little bit close, but um, we traded effectively throughout the game, effective enough that we could wait out his gold. Yeah, he didn't make axe twenty thing. Is right. What can you do? Yo, Michael. I assume it's cannibals who donated uh, twenty three thirty five euros. Thank you very much, Mister Cannibals. Appreciate that. Uh, Matthew ninety nine ain't. 99A, I think over the 16 months as well. I think if he had bombard cannons, he would have been better off. Maybe even capped ram, just so he can take up my production faster. Guys, see, I had 12 barracks here, right? And that was barely enough to get enough helps out. If I only had like 7 barracks, I would have died this game. No question about it. Why no elite chicken and rocketry? Because I need a mobility with the cowatchers. I think any other approach for me in this game would have been losing. Can you explain why the heavy couch upgrade often is research so late, like compared to Arbalest or Cavalier? Um, it's because Arbalest is an immobile unit. So Arbalests are forced to fight often. Like if Cavalier jump on you and you have Arbalest, I mean, no, if you have crossbows and Cavalier come, on, come and jump on you, you have to fight, you cannot run. But Cavalchers, they can outrun still. So you're not forced to engage. And for Cavalchers, you can invest into Chemistry, Bracer, and your damage is only one less. It's 6 plus 4 instead of 7 plus 4 with Heavy Cavalchers. 
So it's it's usually the last upgrade you do for heavy cowachers. Of course, if you can afford it, you also want to get it right away. It's still a very good upgrade, right? But the main reason is that couches can run away while Arbalest will be forced to engage at many points or many times in the game. <laughs> 